This is what the baby looks like. Hey besties, it's Becca. In today's video, we are doing a pregnancy update of 32 weeks. My makeup is running down my face uh, because the light and um, we love that. I have self tanner on and I have a severe burn underneath. So I am currently peeling. Love that as well. I have some hair tensils in my hair. Love it. Like actually love it guys. I love the silver with like T18. It just looks so bomb. I love it. Just, I freaking love it. I also have the Affigy um, mousse in my hair right now and the conditioner. So look how flawless my hair looks. Guys, look at the shine. I just, we're doing a 32 weeks update. I'm telling you guys, symptoms, belly update, ultrasound. I got to see the baby in a video. Hello, a video. First time that I was able to record it, mind you. My husband is not allowed to come in that ultrasound room. I don't know why, COVID. He got to see a video of my son in my belly for two minutes. So let's get right into the video right now. So I'm going to go over all my symptoms and there's a ton guys and I want to say that these symptoms are from like 29 to current, okay? A lot of you may not know but I was in the hospital last week. Um, I had like a weird thing go on. I had vertigo like the whole day so like I would go upstairs and then I would feel like I'm going to like fall over. I have a picture of what my arm and my hand look like and it was like veins that were like bulging out and it was so scary guys. I've never seen it happen before and then I was like oh my god like what if something is happening because my veins are bulging out. I have a picture of it. I'll post it right here. So as you can see it doesn't look that bad in the picture but if you were to see it sideways it was kind of like like what the heck is happening to me? Every pregnant woman goes on Google, of course, and we're like, what the heck is happening? Balding veins. <laughs> it was saying like high blood pressure. So I was like, oh no, 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 no. Like I cannot be having high blood pressure right now. And I just drank like three Cokes and some chocolate. So I was like, oh my gosh, like what if I overdid it? <laughs> what if I overdid it? Having high blood pressure is a very serious thing in pregnancy, so. That's why I'm on baby aspirin. So I was like, oh my God, freaking out. I went to the hospital. They did all the ultrasound checkups, like you name it. They were checking me, see if I was okay. Cause I told them my history and um, they said I did have a little bit of um, high blood pressure. But before I left the house, I took a baby aspirin, which my gynecologist has me on because apparently it reduces having high blood pressure. So I took that before I left my house. So I'm thinking that it might have helped me taking the baby aspirin um, at going to the hospital. So thank God for baby aspirin. The first symptom that I have is um, I have a lot of pubic pain. And guys, what I mean by pubic pain, I mean... It feels like someone beat me with a bat in my pubic bone. I wake up in the morning and I cannot even get out of bed. Like, it is extremely painful getting out of bed. Um, like, I'm screaming. Like, especially in the middle of the night if I have to go to the washroom. So the pain is, like, very painful, unbearable sometimes. And it only happens when I'm, like, in bed, my body's relaxing, my bones are relaxing. During the day, like, when I'm walking around, it's not painful. But as soon as I lay down, toss and turn. And, I mean, to toss and turn it is, like, a painful thing, okay? I have to, like hold my belly and then turn because um he weighs a lot i feel <laughs> that's what i've been dealing with that's like the major problem in my pregnancy right now and apparently it's very common in your second pregnancy or third pregnancy or fourth the first pregnancy it doesn't really happen i have been having acid reflux uh at nighttime so and i've never i don't have a history of acid reflux but when i'm pregnant i usually get it 
um, and I've been having that really bad at nighttime. Not so bad that I need medication for, I can control it. I was having a ton of leg cramps like last week and the week before. Um, like it, it almost feels like Charlie horses times 20 in your feet and your, in your legs. It's horrible and it lasts us for like 30 seconds and it feels like your leg is convulging. Like it feels like someone's cutting off your leg. Like it is so painful guys. If you guys know what I mean, I'm praying for you. <laughs> my feet are swollen, my hands are swollen, so I can't wear any rings now. Everything is swollen, even my face. I'm having trouble with sleeping. Um, sometimes I just can't sleep in the night. I'm like restless, like my legs are restless. I just can't get comfy because I'm tossing and turning. So usually when Kylie goes to bed in the afternoon, I usually try to nap with her and it's very rare that I can try to squeeze in a nap because I'm so busy all the time. Um, but when I do, it's a good day. It's a good day when you get that three hour nap in. I've been having a ton of Braxton Hicks um, and some of them can get pretty bad. Some of them are mild. Some of them I'm like, okay, this is like, okay. And then there's like real painful ones and I'm like holding on to my seat. Like, yeah. So it's a thing, Braxton Hicks. And um, I never knew what Braxton Hicks was in my first pregnancy. I didn't even know how to pronounce it. Um, but yeah, I've been having a lot of Braxton Hicks. A baby at 32 weeks um, pregnant is in a breech position. So I am getting a little nervous that my baby's in a breech position because I know like, okay, yeah, the baby's gonna turn eventually, but maybe if it, if it doesn't, then we're gonna have to like, there's options. So my doctor's already been talking about it, which is making me like really nervous. If the baby's not turning by 37 weeks, then we have to like, there's options. So the three options are, I either have a C-section, I deliver the baby breech, and I'm like, like how am I gonna deliver, like how is that even safe to deliver a baby breech, like legs first? Or they turn the baby with your stomach. And I really think that's probably what I'm gonna be doing is probably getting the baby turned um, with, with like them turning it with, with their hands but I know it's a very painful process. Let me know down below any moms that had to have their baby turned and what happened, was it painful? Let me know down below, I wanna know because I've seen videos of it and it some of them look painful, some of them don't. You have to go to the hospital for it. But I'm hoping that that doesn't have to happen and the baby turns on his own. Like, come on, like if I gotta, I've been being more active as well, like outside, like walking, trying to make gravity, you know, turn his head because the head is the most heaviest part on his little body. So usually the, the head weighs a ton and then they start turning his gravity. Basically all my clothes don't fit me. Like I have a dress on and my dress is way too short. Everything doesn't fit me. I've been using my husband's shirts, my sweatpants don't fit me because I feel like with boys, the weight is distributed like way differently than a girl. Like when I had my daughter, all my weight was like in my stomach and like in my face, not, not really that much, but like I was 170 pounds. So this pregnancy, having a boy going to my boobs and my tushy so um yeah my sweatpants don't fit me i wear a lot of leggings i wear shorts i wear baggy shirts that are for boys that are like large extra large anything that's like really comfy um but like of course you have to look like a woman sometimes unfortunately you have to be at some beauty standard with like not looking horrible horrible like looking like a homeless person and you know i understand that you know what i mean sometimes we have to be a little bit dressy you know show our husband what they're missing <laughs> Do you guys ever just like sit there like being pregnant and you're just like, 
okay, I can do this, but I'm, like, terrified. Like, what if something goes wrong? How am I going to push this big baby out? What if this baby's 12 pounds? <laughs> I've just been so busy, guys. Like, I haven't even packed my hospital bag yet. And um, I have to get on the move of that. Like, I think, like, this week I got to start packing my hospital bag. And then I'll do a video on what I have in my hospital bag if you guys want to see. Because let me tell you, when I had my first baby, half the stuff that I had in my hospital bag, I didn't even use nor need it, okay? It was a waste of money. So let me know down below if you guys want to see that because I do have some pregnant mama besties that watch me and are having their first baby or even your second child. You just want it, you're curious to what I'm going to be packing in my bag. I'm always curious as well, like what other moms are packing in their bed. I have to get a car seat installed into my mom's car. When we do go into labor, I have Kylie to go to my mom's while I give birth. I have to set up the baby's room and get like a dresser. We have a dresser coming. We have a bed frame coming for Kylie's bed. There's just so much that is going on, guys. I can't keep up with it. They're doing the shingles on our roof. They're doing our driveway. There's just chaotic it's chaotic okay chaos so i will show you guys a bump update right now so this dress does not fit me but like it's like skimming by like okay you can pull it off a bit but this is basically what it looks like from the front being 32 weeks pregnant and then we see the side <laughs> Like, we look normal from the front, like we can get away with murder. But, like, as soon as we start coming closer and we're just like. <laughs> this is what the baby bump looks like. And, guys, I got this dress from Value Village. Isn't this, like, kind of cute, though? Like, this dress was from Value Village that I bought last year for, like, $5.99. Anyways, we love a good thrift haul. He's getting super big, guys. It is hard to walk. I definitely have, like, the good old um, waddle walk. Like, you know, when we walk, like... <laughs> Hold on. I'm going to do it again. <laughs> okay, maybe it's not that dramatic. But you get what I mean. We have the waddle walk. Um, and there's no controlling it because, you know, our pubic bone hurts and we just got to waddle it. <laughs> I feel like this dress is making me look bigger than what I am. But I don't have any stretch marks, thank God. I don't have the line, which is really weird because I really didn't really have a line um, in my last pregnancy. But this pregnancy, I just don't have any line. I don't know if it comes like later in pregnancy, but... I'm 32 weeks pregnant and there's no line, so. The cream that I use on my belly and my boobs and my butt so I don't get stretch marks and I use this in my first pregnancy and I swear by it. This is called the Palmer's Cocoa Butter Formula with Vitamin E Tummy Butter for Stretch Marks. And I use this all over my skin. Like I drench it and then I put some cream with it as well to like make it uh, last longer because guys you can go through this in like probably like a week or two so I try to like make it like last a bit longer. I buy this from Shoppers Drug Mart in Canada and this probably goes about like eight dollars. You can get it on Amazon for eight dollars. I recently just got it on sale for like six bucks so I bought like five of them. <laughs> it's like smells amazing. It smells like cocoa butter. It just smells absolutely amazing. I hate oil all over my hands and it's really hard to get off your hands. So I just put like one glove on every night and I put it all over my belly using the glove. That way it's like, you know, more cleaner. <laughs> and for the cream that I use um, all over my body, sometimes like on top of the oil to like disperse it more like better or just to like save products or just be overall moisturized. I use the cocoa butter formula vitamin E, the same thing, but in a lotion. So they do have the lotion, guys, if you don't want the oil. I will show you guys the videos of the ultrasound and the photo right here.
That's a spy. Don't I know heart? I guess he's so big you can't even get his heart. Nice. That's his legs? Mm -hmm. And foot here. Mm -hmm. And again, head. That's the See, like eye, nose, lips. Mm. Oh, there you go. Yeah, you see it now, yeah? yeah? Mouth here, yeah, see open. We'll be drinking. Ah. Lips, mouth here. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing that. I just have I have watched that video probably like a thousand times. I love watching it. It makes me smile and cry because he's just so pretty and handsome. I just can't wait to meet him. Like I'm just so excited to meet my little boy. Like I just can't wait to the day that I'm in the hospital and I get to like I just I can't wait. Seeing his little face in the ultrasound photo, I know it can be like kind of hard to see, but you might have to watch it a couple times. But you can actually see the like the skull. So like you can see where the eyes are, you can see the nose, you can see the mouth. And he was drinking fluid in the video and it was so cute. But like I had a small ice cap before I went to the ultrasound. So I know like while I was in the ultrasound, I know that's what he was drinking probably. <laughs> I don't want to go through that pain and not have an epidural. All the ladies who don't have an epidural, you are literally the strongest woman I've ever heard of. Because it is a very painful thing, not having an epidural. Oh my god. <laughs> if you guys don't hear from me, um, and let's just say I do go into early labor or something, you're like, where has Becca been? Follow my Instagram, follow my TikTok because I will be posting the update on my Instagram whether I'm in labor or not and like showing like hospital pictures like of me in labor like hey guys <laughs> giving birth. <laughs> so make sure you follow my Instagram. It's just Die Hard Barbie. Um, I'll have the link in my description but I always update you guys on everything whether I'm posting or I just whatever, okay? I hope to see you guys in my next freaking video. Bye guys. Bye. Mm -hmm.